yours this time. Nothing our brother's resolve and spirit cannot overcome. To the fray, Commander. Your target is the Tentaris Hive, but the nearby germs have rendered it invulnerable. Hello there, folks. How you doing? So we're uh, taking on this Hive mission today, which is new to me. I think it came with this update. So apparently it's invulnerable till we destroy all the germs which are spread around the map. Are there any to the east over here? Yeah, there's one over here. They're all over the place, man. Doesn't look like a super big map. But interesting nonetheless. We've took the librarian with us here, so hopefully that works out. He's obviously very low level. So not got many abilities yet, so I was kind of questioning whether I wanted to bring him or not, but... We're doing it. We're bringing him. should probably have checked if these things can actually attack. Um, no. Yes? Oh, fucking hell. They cause warp surge risk to increase every turn. I see. That's awkward. Now, I believe this mission features enemies just... I don't know, I think it's like you get plague dropped on you randomly throughout the mission. So... You want to spread out your guys a little bit. Now the Colexus should be immune to that if it's a psychic attack. I don't know if it counts as psychic or not. I guess we'll find out. I did put one of my guys in Terminator armor. Yeah, not this guy, because he's got too much armor. He's got the tier 3 armor on. The Librarian is wearing the Terminator armor that makes him immune to plague. So hopefully that will help. Otherwise, I guess I just want to stay split up. Maybe I should have... Oh, I don't know. Kept the Interceptor back because he can teleport, but... I don't know when this plague triggers. If it's literally every turn, that would presumably be pretty overpowered. We'll see. But now it's just Nurglings and a Plague Marine. Okay. What was that? Yeah. That is a psychic attack. Oh, that's beautiful. The Colexus just dodges it. That's perfect. I hope it's not every turn. That'd be weird. The Hive summons Guardians to protect it. Free reinforcements left. I mean, this is only a Corruption 1 mission, so... Yeah, okay. So you get hit by plague every turn. Obviously, I'm immune here. Got a grenade on this guy. Don't know how useful that will be. Um, otherwise, I can go into melee. But probably not that useful. Knocking this down would be a good idea, I think. Praise the Emperor. Hmm. Kind of want to move the Apo up so that he's in range to shoot these guys because then the Interceptor can chop them up. Alright, hold on. So what we're going to do, we're going to move him up here. We're going to knock this thing down and push the Nurgling forward. Okay, well that Plague Marine's now really far back. Is that a Grim Surgeon? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, Plague Surgeon. I also should probably start spamming willpower moves just to feed my Kalexus. Right, let's see. So, um, we can teleport. Uh, can get very close to them, but not right next to them, unfortunately. I don't think there's a way to guarantee this, really. No, just, just kill this guy first. Uh, the Nurglings, they don't do a lot of damage. They're a force multiplier for the enemy demons. If they don't have a lot of demons, then they're not really that relevant. Disable Plague Chosen. I don't know what half these even mean. What's Plague Chosen? Let's just do this so I can see what Plague Chosen is. Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to kill him anyway. I know what Revitaling... Revitalizing whatever the hell it said. Was it revitalizing malignancy? Oh, these are the Tainted Sons. So these units gain awesome mutate. 
15% chance every turn. Plague Chosen, target an ally within range 1 to increase their strain specific mutation effects. Okay, I see. That's fine. Unleash my horrors. It's fine. Yeah, we can get the kill here. Bang. We just need to hit them more, once more with the interceptors and then can finish it with the collectors. Oh, I forgot about that as well. 15% chance to mutate when hit, that's interesting. Oh, well, she gets the kill there, that's going to give her some willpower. Technically, she could, I could now run into melee with the interceptor. Alternatively, with the apothecary here, we can shoot this guy and then the other interceptor shot should finish it off. Let's move over here so we're not vulnerable to anything coming through the gate here from the reinforcements. Oh, that works out beautifully. And if you crit them, they die instantly. Cool. And then I guess just split up a little bit so that the plague can't hit everyone. If it is technically every turn. Yeah, it's every turn they plague you. Wow, that's crazy. What the fuck? That's so hard. Right? Isn't that, like, really tough? Plagued. Hmm. The special objective for this mission was to complete it without healing. I'm just thinking now, like, that seems so incredibly difficult. What on earth? I don't get it. Let's teleport over here. Is there a patrol guarding these? Or not? I'm ass uh. I was going to say, I'm assuming there won't be that many patrols. But, uh, I mean, there is one. Oh, I guess we just run over, whatever. Because otherwise, how the hell are you meant to do this mission without healing? That'd be absurd. How would that ever be possible? If you have to fight patrols around every fucking corner. And you're getting hit by a plague literally every single turn. Bizarre. Now the patrols are small, clearly. But I'm assuming all these natural patrols are tainted suns. Oh, that's awkward. You have to fight two mobs at once. Okay. That's fine. Ah, uh, yeah, he's got resists on this as well from that tier 3 armor. Ooh, getting some dirty mutations here. Oh, wow, a lot of mutations. Was that 7 HP? Is that really what that just said? That's absurd. And Maw gets some of that of this. Right. Hmm. Weird. Um, kind of want a teleport strike, not going to lie. Yeah, it's a lot of willpower, but it feels, feeds my Kalexus. resists my will. For the Emperor. Now I just need to move someone else up to shoot. Or I could smite, I guess. Hold on, so... Uh... It's fine, I think I can shoot from here. Can I? Yeah, and then the follow-up from the Interceptor will kill. And if we get lucky, I'll crit with the Interceptor and kill the Hive in one hit as well. 
Oh, actually, no, forget that. Destroy the resurrection emblem. There you go. Get rid of that shit. We don't want the plague bearer coming back alive. Fuck that. Is this a doorway? It is a doorway. So, these are just pox walkers? Yeah, a lot of pox walkers, though. Good job this guy's got a lot of armor. Could chuck a grenade through. No, he can't, because the door's not smashed open yet. Hmm. Alright, what else are we dealing with? These are all pox walkers. Then we've got... We just got a bolter plague marine in the back there. Yeah, that's not a big deal. That's fine. I am the bane of psychers. Let's move her up over to here. What do we want to do? She doesn't have a lot of warp charge yet. Yeah, just use your normal attack. Don't want to waste the willpower on her yet. So much health on these plague surgeons, man. It's a crazy amount of HP. Is there anything interesting on him? Not really. Let's just melee him. Mm. No luck, no criticals. I think I'm going to enter Aegis now, because these pox walkers could be a problem. Of course they're mutating. Of course they are. So he'll weaken my apothecary, but it's fine. I want to be shooting next time anyway. Not hitting in melee. Then the interceptor can go deal with that plague surgeon. And the plague's not going to do anything to the Colexus. Nice. Yeah, I think not healing here would have been a bit of a push. Not to mention it would completely wreck my wounds on all these guys. So I, w I can kill all of these using Cybolts. And we can kill these with the Colexus just using the AoE melee attack. And that will actually provide a pretty nice amount of... Why are they popping off? Are these all like Tainted Sons? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, they're all Tainted Sons, so they all gain chance to mutate. Anyway, yeah, we do this and we're going to get a shitload of willpower. Um, kick us down to two, but then we kill two enemies. Which does what? I don't know, we're at five, whatever. Oh, we got some willpower back as well, actually. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Not really much use for this, though. Looking at it. Where did that plague marine go as well? He just disappeared, didn't he? He must be on the other side of the wall, can't see him. Whatever. What we'll do is, we are just gonna... Ah, hang on. We're going to run out of ammo. We're going to cyborg anyway because we've got full willpower. So we use one willpower, but we kill an enemy, so we stay at seven. And by doing this, we're feeding the Colexus with more willpower as well, making her even stronger. Now we need to reload. So I could do with my Colexus doing something over there. Fuck it, you just kill him in melee. More willpower, but we obviously get plagued, which is fine. Now what we do is we heal you with the servo skull, get rid of that plague, very annoying. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do a melee attack and then finish it off with the Colexus, who now should have a shitload of willpower. Yeah, she's at her 11 willpower. Which makes her kind of insane. Doing this without... Um... Ooh, we could get an execute on this guy, actually. Right, hold on, hold on. So... Move you over to here. Smack this thing. Boink. Now we can smite over here. 
Well, does that not stun? Ah, that's sad, it didn't stun. Oh well. Oh, there's no willpower on this guy, what the fuck? When did he get no willpower? God's sake. That's news to me. I Ugh, I can't shoot either. Jesus. Oh well, just melee this guy. I'll take the seed. No, I could stun him. Hmm. I'll take the seed. Guaranteed seed claim there. Another foul seed claimed. Boink. There we go. Not too bad. Just that, a couple of plague bearers and nerglings. All right. You just got to try and kill the Nurglings ASAP. If there's too many Nurglings on the map, then the enemy Plague Bearers are going to start getting a bit stupid. Because every Nurgling on the map increases every Plague Bearer on the map's HP by two. Oh, nice. Did he just resist the Affliction again? That's beautiful. Yeah, so the Reinforcements just seem to spawn in. A limited amount of them every turn spawns in by the the main Tentaris hive. So what we could do here is move the librarian up, get the execute kill. Since so he's super far back and can't really do a whole lot anyway. Oh. You will rise here. And then. I can actually hit them with a smite through the wall, which is quite funny. Probably want to move... Where do I want to move? Probably want to move him back a bit. Do I? Or can the Collectus just kill all of these? She probably can. She's immune to Overwatch. Ah, oh, that's just not going to be enough, is it? Hmm. Done too far away. Oh, I need to reload my apothecary anyway. Why does my apothecary have 4 AP? What? What's that all about? Yeah, we'll just shoot him with a normal attack. And then we're going to overwatch this doorway where the plague bearers are going to come running through. You can then do a warp charge blast. And then you can kill him with your next attack. No, you can't because they just mutated. Of course he did. Of course he did. Fine, just do it again. We got loads of willpower. Cower before me. I will kill yeah, four damage times two. Let's do it. Ah, oh, fuck it, man. We can even warp charge again. Bring him down to one HP. Die from the Overwatch now. Oh, because we executed. I completely forgot. Yeah, we executed that fool. That's how he's got four AP. Because the Collexus doesn't get it. She's an assassin. They don't get access to that extra AP from the execute. We need to get some willpower on this guy. But yeah, not a lot of enemy patrols, is there? Hmm. Think it, yeah, it probably would have been a push still doing it without healing. Nice long range smite there. And then just move the librarian over. him down. 
He's gonna come through the doorway, okay. It's alright. And the Nerglings are gonna run in and achieve not a whole lot. Now, probably gonna create some Poxwalkers. Create quite a lot of Poxwalkers, actually. Heal my Apothecary again. What's that? Is that the final reinforcements or is there another one afterwards? Plague Bearer and a Plague Ridden. Should be alright, we'll just back off with our Librarian. An Overwatch down here. Get that free damage with the smite. Get to the top of the high ground here and overwatch. Now, what are we doing with you? Um, what do you want? Oh, we just use this, don't we? There we go. Bang. Find more willpower in melee with her there. That reaches as well, dang. Oh, she's so good against demons, man. With this tier 1 friggin' war gear. So useful. Twelve out of sixteen HP. Might as well heal her. We've got a lot of medical skulls to go around. And imagine if we had upgraded medical skulls. That'd be amazing. So then we can just cover this gap here. If they come up the right hand side, whatever. You know, there's nothing I can really do about that. They're not going to be able to hit us from that side, so I'm not too fussed. And you can crack on killing all these. I assume there will be another patrol somewhere on the map to deal with. But we'll see, I guess. Let's see, they're going to run through the Overwatch or what? Yeah, they are. Nice. Definitely a good idea bringing the Collectors on these missions and the the armor that makes me immune to plague. Okay, that is the final reinforcement, whatever comes out there. That's fine. So there's another one down here. That's the job for the interceptor. Now, bloom spawns just appeared. So we need to try and get rid of them. What are these? They're just... Range 4, okay. Well, I guess Kalexus needs to hurry up. Yep. Goodbye. 16 fucking damage, man. That's insane. Oh, they've got the Resurrect, though. Oh, what a pain. Why are they such a pain? Honestly. Yeah, just keep getting rid of them. This is what we've got the willpower for. Stuff librarian. Clear that shit.
No, I don't think I can kill this. No, I don't have the ammo. I'll run out of ammo. Even if I could shoot it three times, I only do three times four, which is not enough. This is why having the five damage bolter is so powerful. See, even with a melee attack, that would have been enough to kill that there. So they'll get some good damage here, I think. Oh, he's going to vomit on me instead. I thought he was going to slash me with his sword. So he hobbles me, but he doesn't actually do very good damage. We didn't actually do any, did he? So what's the final reinforcement? Oh, we can't even see it. Well, that's fine. Honestly, you kind of do want to run into melee with this fool. Because it's going to silence him. Die. And then get the kill over here so she gets the willpower. I am the Empress Vengeance. And then we can just beat this guy down. So tanky, but what do you expect from the more powerful Nurgle demons? That be Nurgle demons for you. God, do no damage with my fucking combi bolter. Forget it then, just chop him in melee. You know your job, Interceptor. You need to get over there and chop this thing up. Another one down. Why did Lunette just randomly say disgusting? Sweet pox, take cover. Huh. Okay, so there was one more patrol. What is that? Another plague surgeon and a and a plague baron and a marine. I wonder if the Hive can fight back. If so, that's quite annoying because I can't, like, run through this direction. Yeah, getting plagued every turn is really tough. That's hard, again. The hell? Let's have a look at the Hive. Oh, it's this thing that's doing it. The Plague Bile Volley. Launch a blast over Area 5 at range 50 to afflict Plague 75% chance. Hmm, I see. Okay, so it doesn't actually attack. That is its attack. And critting it only gives you more damage. Interesting. So yeah, we can walk past this thing then. To go deal with whatever's down there. Yes. Fair enough. God, these things are so annoying. Just randomly getting mutations to increase the HP. Again, I want to get the kill here with the Colexus, so... Uh, who's plagued? Oh, you're hobbled. Alright. Cure that with a little medical skull then. And... We're a little low on HP. We've got a shitload of... Willpower, so I am going to do that. I am ready. I will kill you. Another one falls. <laughs> I wonder if these are going to automatically come over to fight me. I don't think that I want to proc the 
patrol over here, so I think I'm just going to be patient. Stand here behind the wall. Let them come to me. I could actually Gates of Infinity. Gate of Infinity, even. Oh, that's probably a good idea, isn't it? I shouldn't have moved my librarian in that case. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, I think. Oh, you moved a bit far forward, but it's okay, that's the librarian. Oh, I just forgot it doesn't move the Colexus. <laughs> oh, that could be a way to let your assassins die if you forgot about that at the wrong time. Fortunately, it doesn't really matter because we've cleared out the enemies. I've really got to try and remember that. Uh, probably just going to overwatch. Yeah, we don't have any AP and stuff. So annoying. Oh, very nice that the Plague Bearer just walked right into our overwatch there. Less nice that they got a plus four mutation. But what can you do? Forgot about that. Whoops. Um, Why do I never have any willpower on this guy? This is very annoying. I want to give him the warp speed biomancy because he can't teleport unfortunately right now what is your will? and you hang on no you shoot and again Yep, and the Interceptor will kill it. That's cool. Yeah, just run at him. It's fine. I get the automatic shield at the end. They too will suffer. Oh, really? You can only just get him range? Damn it, I should have moved him here. Oh well. Nice, we got the crit. Can take the purple seed. We need them seeds. We need them seeds badly. Of course, they're mutating again. More armor. Fun. Uh, he's still hanging around pretty close, so I don't want to get too close to him. Don't want to trigger an extra patrol. Yes. Forgot he was plagued as well. So nine is going to be injured now. But it could be worse. We'll heal him. Finish off that guy. You cannot harm me. Taking a kill position. Why is the damage so crazy? Man. It's nuts. Yes, Commander. There you go, finally. 
get a nice kill on the Interceptor, that will be extra AP for all of us and extra willpower for the Interceptor. Doesn't really matter. Oh, we got the crit on that as well. Beautiful. Right, now we can kill the Hive. It didn't change, did it? No. I was already just like mutated into an aggressive farm and my Calexus gets wrecked. Do you heal? Yeah, you know, might as well reload, that's fine. I should have probably just got the kill on the Librarian because he needs the XP to level up a lot more than the high level Interceptor does. So that was a little mistake, but we're not talking anything major. Not too difficult, really. It would have been very difficult if we had zero healing. But otherwise, not too difficult. But that is obviously, this is a corruption tier zero mission, so. Yeah, given that it's corruption tier zero, it's obviously a lot more difficult than a normal seeding mission. Oh, do I not have any ammo? Ready. I have sanctified my rounds. Lame. We want that ammo. Yes, For the support fire. I want to try and get the kill on this thing with the librarian for the XP. Bang. My blade is yours. Standing ready. Unleash my horrors. She couldn't extract Bloom Spawn, that's interesting. I didn't know if she'd be able to. Since she's not a Grey Knight, but apparently she can. Um, and then... I don't know if the mission ends as soon as you kill it, like the Spreaders, or if it's like the other missions where it goes on for a bit. Oh, Teleport's disabled. I was wondering, like... Wait, I've got the willpower, why can't I teleport? Ah, fuck it. Just kill it with the librarian. Cool. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult. Got to level up on the librarian. Sweet. Nice. Now, if I didn't bring the Colexus, and I didn't put the librarian in an armor that makes him literally immune to plague, then it could have been a lot harder. That saved me a lot of hit points from plague damage, having two characters that are immune to plague. And even on your other characters then on these kind of missions, you want to try and maximize your resist, even if you don't have plague immunity. Because they only have a 75... Wait. What? I didn't accept the glorious deed. And it wasn't destroy free hive germs in a single turn. Okay, but we're going to take that because we just randomly got five extra, well, three extra requisitions. That was not the Glorious Deed. I declined the Glorious Deed because the Glorious Deed was three requisitions to complete the mission without healing. And I was like, I've never done this before. I don't know if that's worth it. Wow. A lot of purple seeds collected. I suppose we did get a few, didn't we? So we've got a lot of requisition right now, which is pretty sweet. Focus. We have here a Force Sword. So Force Swords let you parry attacks in melee. They're the only Grey Knight weapon that lets you parry. This is a 4 damage Force Sword. So that's standard damage. 
but it has bonus crit chance and bonus crit damage. Nah, shit. Forget it. Yeah, nah, I'm not interested. Another tier 3 Terminator armor. We already have one though. Oh my god, but mm, bloody hell, does it make you tanky? Fucking hell, man. This unit has plus 4 armor. Upgrade it again and it gets plus 3 armor. And then 15% res resistance. I mean, this is just pure armor. You know? In total, plus 7 armor on this Terminator armor. And plus 2 max HP, a little bit of resistance. God, that's a lot of armor. That's really hard to turn up, guys. I'm going to have to pick that up. It's good. Now we've got two tier 3 armors. We don't need any more um, tier 3 Terminator armors. You know, Apothecary can take one, Justicar can take another. So she's now level 7. Soulless Horror gains plus 4 range. I'm going to be honest, guys. I, I'm, I'm not using it because I don't even know what Panic does. And the Life Draining Touch gains another damage. Ooh, yes! Yes, please. Librarian got a couple of levels as well. So what were we doing with him? We established we want to go down this route and get these high damage spells. Um, and we also want teleportation though as well. So we just got smite right now. Our smite can do more damage and have infinite range. Infinite range smite is pretty dope. But it's definitely a luxury. Um, I think willpower, teleport... be able to group teleport literally the whole squad that's like the best thing yeah that's kind of the best thing about the apothecary so if these guys are wounded now god damn it these guys didn't get wounded at all all right fine now as far as the wider campaign where the hell were we we needed servitors which we just got so we can start upgrading the ship again that's cool Upgrading ship speed seems pretty logical. None. What is this? None. Oh, that's what's meant to be building, isn't it? Yeah, we're not building anything. Getting this also seems useful since I keep losing... Uh, ...Grey Knights. Then again, that seems to be happening less now. More Prognosticars would also be useful. More XP would also be very, very useful. Damn it, man. There's so many good upgrades. Like, everything's good. Let's just get ship speed for now. And can we make it in time for the spreader? Yes, we can. Fantastic. We're going to be bringing the Colexus along for that one, too. The Colexus assassin I'm finding is absolutely amazing. Just stick her with an interceptor and... Wow, it's a good time. Research is a lot faster now. We need to try and do a Dolores mission, a red mission, so that we can get this Codex Toxicus made. We've got all the other seeds now, except those bloody red seeds. These stratagems, I'm not really interested in, to be honest. Nah. So I don't really care about that. Reducing the cost of green purity seals seems kind of pointless as well. Now I suppose it unlocks the rest of these though, which could be useful. It's not really that high priority of an upgrade though. I'd rather start going down these other routes. Are any of these actually useful? Target an enemy afflict dominated for three turns. Okay, that could be useful. All knights purify and heal by two. Meh. That's not... I'm not really digging that. Though we could go down here to get an extra stratagem slot. We've got all the seeds for that. All allies heal six. 
don't care. Yeah, all the rest of these don't seem that good. This is probably the best one, Dominate. But I don't even have the red seed for it, so forget it. For now, we're just going to go down this line. Yeah. Until we finally do a red mission and can continue with the main story. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sound the alarm. Glitchlings? Another Nurgle menace. They exist to corrupt our machines. How do we fight them? We hunt them to the last. On the open battlefield, a legion of such creatures would be a trivial match for a single Grey Knight. Locating them, on the other hand... Impractical. Saboteurs will be more efficient. I will recalibrate my servitors and... Brilliant. Oh, for God's sake. So, in order to deal with that, I sent Lunette and her servitors. Which means that... We've got zero construction speed for five days, and also... Any construction that we do do for 30 days is going to cost plus 4 servitors. That's kind of lame. I should have sent some Grey Knights. We've got no gun batteries either. What a joke. Really? Something else? Unusual transmission received from Magos Explorator Yeltrix. Magos Dominus, our operations have been promoted by a particularly aggressive technophage. We have been forced to evacuate all of our excavation sites in this sector. This virus infects machine spirits, sparing imperfect biomatter. It seeks to pervert the Omnisire's holy Archaeotech, and our Skitari regiments are poorly conditioned to resist it. Dominus, given your success recovering the venerable Dreadnought engine on Duronin, the Adeptus Mechanicus demands you purge this blight immediately. The Sacred Order of Grey Knights is not his to direct. Irrelevancy. Cost-benefit analysis supports intervention. The Priesthood of Mars will dedicate valuable resources to support our campaign. That settles it. Commander, you must see the value in supporting the Adeptus Mechanicus in their time of need. We both share this battlefield against the Blue. I have marked the coordinates on the star map. Okay. So this is... How to further the Adeptus Mechanicus campaign. Right. Interesting. Um, is there a time for this? Dominus Lunette is going to be joining us. Hmm. We must escort Lunette as she sanctifies its atmospheric purifiers of Bloom's corruption. Fair enough. Anyway, we've got a spreader to deal with first. Our problems on our ship too. That glitchling thing really screwed me over. At least we get more servitors here, because by god do we need them. We really do. Yeah, no great rewards here. But it's fine, we're going to have the Grandmaster relatively soon. Okay, 22 days. Win a mission, win the mission without using willpower. On a, on a spreader mission? No. No, 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 we're not doing that. Nope. Forget it. So we've got the Vindicare Assassin as well. Do we really want to use two Assassins though? I mean, we could. The Calexus is pretty tanky. Vindicare. The downside is that I've got one less unit to use willpower and feed the Calexus. So let's. Who are we gonna? Who are we gonna pair her with? Uh, 
Maybe just an interceptor and a justicar. car. Yeah, let's do that. Because that's still gonna... The combination of these two will feed her with a shitload of willpower just in their own. Oh, wow. Uh, we don't have enough yellow seeds. I would have liked to have got that. That's fine. Forget it. It's not that important. Right. What Terminator armor do I want to give you? So we previously had him using this one for the extra grenades. Two more grenades and extra area on the grenades, but... We've unlocked these improved ones. Yeah, we want this. So we have infinite willpower. Oh, wait, hang on. Mm. I just realized... I don't have a healer in this squad. Um... Hmm... Yeah, sod it. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. So we're gonna take a, a servo skull here to heal. Then the interceptor has the power armor that gives free medical skulls. Which is something. Basically, we, we need to rely on taking the damage with shields, of course. Not actually losing HP. Because, yeah, we've, we can only heal... We've got five medical skulls, that's it. Which I guess is okay, but... But meh. I'm gonna wait, because I'm actually gonna get the Grandmaster, I'm gonna get the second tier of Assassin upgrades. Right. Now I'm gonna lose Gate of Infinity, because I have to assassins here so they can't get teleported by it anyway and I'm gonna get rid of this one because it only buffs the knights so all three of these well actually no this only affects knights as well but that's fine let's give it a go none of these guys are injured in theory he should be a very good tank and then we just rip them apart with these. She can tank as well once I feed her with enough willpower. But that will take time. Because only these two are the sources of willpower. I can also, in theory, transfer shields from my Justicar over to the other guys as well. With his Fortress ability. We'll see, we'll see. It's, honestly, I do expect to be pretty, pretty tricky, to be honest. But we'll have to wait and see. achieved. The Adeptus Mechanicus have allocated strict deployment parameters for this forge world. Infested like this, and they still play tight with their secrets. Our failure will initiate an immediate planet-wide self-destruction protocol. Do not fail. Wait, what? Is that, like, legit? Will the planet actually blow up if we fail? That's kind of dope. Normally that requires exterminatus. Surely not. So, spreaders. So we're timed here. And we need to kill the bloom spawns first. But if as soon as we kill the spreader itself, which is all the way over there, the mission ends. So we need to hug the left hand side of the wall, basically.
Uh, I think I'll go over this way with my Vindicare, because he's got that really nice movement range because of his extra APs for movement. And he's, he's long range, so he doesn't need to be right in the enemy's face like the others. You know, you want to grab as many as them as you can. You don't want to make it too hard for yourself. Too much pressure for the timer. The pariah is ready. Let's go. What you got for me, Nurgle? Silver Knights. Plague ridden. So we can charge right into these fools. Let's have a look at what we're dealing with. We've got a grenadier on the side here and we've got three autogun cultists. Okay. Well, that's not very scary, is it? Let's move in here. We can activate stealth so the Vindicare doesn't take any damage. Now this thing's demonic so I can't kill it with deadshot unfortunately. No, apparently I can't even make it get critted. Lame. Denying that grenadier hiding around the corner. Hmm. How do we want to do this? I want to move up closer. Yeah, we can spy mask the plague ridden. I want to enter stealth because obviously I'm right in their face. I don't want to get wrecked. So I could get a guaranteed crit on him here, or I could try and shoot this. That would do something. Let's just double check what the crit would do. Could weaken him, make him do less damage in melee. I think I might do that, I think I might weaken him. Yeah, she can actually just blow that up. I will kill you. We have Weapons ready. Precision target locked in. Oh, I forgot he causes bleed on his crits as well. Very nice. Storm. Right, now, how are we going to manage this then? With alacrity. Steady and surely we hunt oh, please don't proc another mob of enemies. That would be terrible. Down. 
Fauna. Mercy in death. Your command? The grenade is gonna throw a grenade, it's gonna blow up this, isn't it? It's gonna hurt everyone involved. Fuck. Damn it. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have stood so close to this thing. Oops. Ah, fucking hell. Ah, there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do, he's gonna get a lot of damage onto us here, and that's shit, man. Given the lack of healing. Oh! Oh, he's not. Oh, great. Sweet. Okay. Who cares then? Get the kill here with the Justice Car because he needs the willpower. And we get the seed as well. Very nice. I just realized that this is a red seed mission. I didn't even realize that at first. That's literally the seed type that we need, so that's brilliant. Uh, dare I go grab that? Yeah, go on then. I mean, it definitely puts the Vindicare out of the way, but I think that's okay. I wonder if that patrol's still there or not. Pinned. Let the hunt continue. That patrol is still there, but it's going to leave soon. And that's when we move in yes. and slaughter. The bloom spawn, what's well, isolated? Confirmed. Oh man, the Vindicare's miles back. Kill this thing instantly. Instant. Not let it do any damage to us. Triggered the other mob. I didn't want to do that. Oh no, that used all my um, army stuff. I didn't realize it was going to do that. Oh well, we can kill it with the Kalexus. 
thought I had one more AP to use on as a chapter on the interceptor. My bad, but it actually kind of works out because we're going to get the kill on the Alexis, which is more willpower for her. So whatever. Uh, I don't think... No, there's no way I can hurt them from over there. We'll just move over here. Come at me now. Here's a good spot. Come at me now. I'll be honest, at this point, even buffed up by loads of mutations, I'm not really sure what cultists are meant to be doing against me. I think they're going to have a bit of trouble. Okay, that's annoying. Because I don't have stealth right now. Sad. I'm going to lose a shitload of health charging for explosive walls. Whoops. Fuck's sake. Going to get 2 AP to this guy. Well, so much whatever I just said because I just made myself lose a shitload of health. Fuck's sake. Anyway, we can run around here and beat this guy up. chap to the interceptor. Fire. This guy is free stun the interceptor and then we can just assassinate this guy ammunition depleted what is your will with alacrity Oh, that's all of them? Wow. Moving. Well, if it wasn't for the fact that I blew myself up with the fucking environmental objects, then that went very well. Uh, I do have the stratagem heal though, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. So I could have used that actually. That probably would have been smart. Rather than wasting two surface skulls. Anyway, we got him. Mob down there. The pariah is ready. At your service. I 
Honestly, I kind of want to deal with this first. I'm here to serve. Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Your orders. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with them first. For fuck's sake. Keep messing this up. Any Melter Crack dudes? No, thank goodness. Okay. Well, in that case... Oh, I'm not in the correct range. For God's sake. How annoying. Yeah, I literally can't hit anything. God damn it. I think I'll just shoot over here. Get rid of this thing. Get slicing and dicing. Claim that seed. Thank you very much. Another foul seed claimed. Storm. I am the bane of psychos. Oh wow, that's gonna kill him because of the support fire. Holy shit, that's so strong. Your command? Support fire interceptors of nuts. That will likewise inskill him. <laughs> Oh, the Kalexus is crazy. She's so good. Because she's not even that fragile either. She's really not. Okay. Plague bearers will raise from the enemy corpses. That's a bit much, isn't it? Fucking plague bearers. No thanks. I am with you. Um do we care, like, three... Okay, four Plague Bearers. That could be problematic. But at the same time... Oh, at the same time, I'm, I actually don't think it's that difficult to deal with, to be honest with you. If I'm being completely honest. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think I'm going to let them spawn. If we were fighting a load of other shit, then I'd be more concerned, but we're not. This thing can only fight at close range, so... Let's hop onto the box here, and then just start shooting it with our pistol. Since she does extra damage to demons, and then we've got this really tanky dude here with his storm bolter, I'm really not that scared of a bunch of ugly plague bearers spawning. You know, let them do what they got to do. We fully reloaded. Yep. All right. Bring it on, plague bearers. And yeah, there's an uh, there is another vent here I could grab. 
I think it's fine. We're actually closing in on this thing pretty swiftly. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna teleport. Wow, he can teleport so far. Gliding through the wall. Beautiful. I think this counted as one of their reinforcements as well. And I think it's like the bloom spawn that when you get to the spreader, those are reinforcement spawns. So them having one less is, is great. But granted, that still would have been one less reinforcement whether I let the Plague Bearer spawn or whether I went over and destroyed the emblems first or not. Alright, they're taking their time. Can I destroy that thing? No. Alright, forget it then. I'm gonna just put him in the corner and overwatch to the back. I'm pretty sure these other three guys will be able to take out that bloom spawn. Mm, maybe not actually. Might have to use a extra attack here from a collector, so another warp attack. Oh no, no I don't, support fire. Whoops, completely forgot about support fire. We're good. So much AP on my Vindicare and I've not got anything to use it on. Alright, well we've got plenty of turns. We've got 11 turns here. I think we just chill. Let them come in. And rip them apart when they do. Why are they taking so long to come get me? Come on, Plague Bearers. Raise him, make him attack his. I was going to say colleagues. <laughs> his allies. Mark acquired. Oh, very nice. We can do the same to him then. We don't actually want to kill that plague bearer because he's going to attack his buddies. Reload, move up, overwatch. Do we need to move up? Yeah, we do. Got a really awkward angle of fire there. Oh. 
There we go. Oh, the fucking just cause Overwatch has gone all weird. Oh well. She can get some kills in melee here. Unleash the silence. Another fiend destroyed. Face me. I am an instrument of vengeance. Fall. Willpower, Plague Bearers. And the XP. Alright, onto the spreader. Why has he got purple tendrils growing out of his shoulder? That's not normal, is it? Throne of the Emperor. That one's massive. We will not be daunted. Brothers, destroy that thing before the demons surround you. Okay, so three more reinforcements. This one and two remaining. So what we're dealing with here, we've got Heavy Stubber, three auto guns, two Grenadiers, and two Apostates. Problem is, this Spreader can attack as well. Four damage from range 14, so pretty scary stuff that. I can move in nice and close and activate Stealth. an option. Not sure how viable that option really is. As requested. I think we will initiate with that. Yeah, sure. one guy dead. Not like he was particularly troublesome though. This is the more difficult thing. We don't want to stand anywhere near that. My god if it blows up it could knock my fucking Aversa Assassin off the edge of the map. I'll have 12 shields on my Kalexus Assassin. Holy shit. Um, in that case, do we just move her here? I'm curious. I'm curious the explosion range of that set of crates. Yeah, that's going to hit my Vindicare. 
So I don't want to go there, I really don't want them to shoot the Vindicare. Mm. Or, you know, they can't shoot the Vindicare right now because he's in stealth, but they could hit me. This thing could hit her in the cover and then blow that up and then it knocks the Vindicare off the map. Could you imagine how bad that would be? It would be horrendous. But yeah, she, she will get 12 shields. Yeah. So that's kind of bonkers. It will be done. What's the range on this thing again? 14. So I can shoot it when I'm there. So that must be 10. So then 11, 12, 13, 14. Wow. Oh, please don't tell me that I'm in range this now. Oh, he had auto resurrect. Wait, what? That thing can target me even though I'm in stealth. I did not realize this. Seems kind of BS. Getting a little bit concerned, guys. What the fuck's coming through this rift? Oh, pinned. fuck is that thing? Well, at least they don't have a lot of reinforcements coming. We can say that much. So... Right, this thing is a flesh mower. Lovely. If we crit it, we can make it crazed. Causing an area to blast, dealing 4 damage to all targets, to civil shredding blades. Making it crazed sounds pretty good to me. Then again, I also want to cripple them. What's that? Another cultist? Oh, I'm not going to be able to shoot him from there, am I? Uh, kidding me, I can't actually hit that. Unbelievable. Yeah, just get rid of all the spell bullshit. Yes, the auto reloaded. That was lucky. Okay, in that case, I want you to... No, I ain't got line of sight on him. Yeah, just, just hit this sorcerer again. Bang. Now we gotta move. Ooh, I could technically disrupt shot. Right, hold on. These guys being pinned is kind of lame. What am I going to do with my interceptor right now? That's another question. I don't think there's a way to get him into... melee with ease, is there? No, I can't walk over this 
this is blocking my path. I'm yeah, so What is your will? That's very annoying to be honest. Is that a grenadier? Man, I hate the grenadiers. They're so annoying, lowering the AP. He's irrelevant, forget him. The problem is there's more reinforcements coming out of here soon as well. Um, what are we going to do with this guy? What the hell are we going to do with him? I think we just teleport here. Slay this guy. Because that's relatively simple at least. Ah oh, man, we can't even get over there. What a joke. Right. Well. Listening. I'm going to have to disrupt shot this. That's all right. Ammunition depleted. My blade is ever ready. Running out of willpower on my just car, but I don't think. Uh, is he wearing the armor that lets him use HP for willpower? Yeah, so it doesn't matter actually. When my willpower is zero, this knight spends the HP instead of willpower, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. Service. So I want you to go up and kill this gunner. I am the Emperor's Fury. And then I want you to actually Yeah, run over this way so you're right next to this portal. Because I want you to slaughter whatever comes out of it. Now as for my Colexus. I'm not sure, you know. <sighs> That's amazing. You can just one-shot the Grenadier like that. Yes, please. There you go. That's a job. Bang. Beautiful. Lowers the warp surge as well. I actually don't think that's useful, though, because this fucker is going to make it go higher anyway. Immobilize all visible enemies is pretty sexy as well. Hmm. Yeah, just move over here. I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident with her. She's got a shitload of shields coming up. We can... Just... Do I want to just kill this guy? Tough to say. Tough to say. I mean, he can't cast spells, though, can he? All he can do is use smite. So he's shit. But smite is armor piercing. So that's kind of lame. I think I'm just going to move closer. And then from here I can make a decision which side I'm going to attack.
So I think that fills up the what search? What did that just do? Yeah. Oh my god. These things blowing up environmental areas is ridiculous. Oh, I totally forgot, man. She's immune to fucking psychic attacks as well. Oh, that's insane. So good. Yeah. Brilliant. Gods, watch over me. Totally forgot that. We probably could win this mission right now by just killing the spreader. We'll see how easily we can kill everything else, though. Oh, there's a plague bear running up from behind as well. Okay, I don't really... I don't like this situation. Yeah. Yeah, we might just end this now. Because this is getting a bit out of control. It's getting a little bit out of control. Like, obviously, I've got 11 willpower here. I can attack three times with this. That's going to do stupid damage. So we could just win it. But let's think. What else can we do? What else can we do? Well, I'd have to kill this thing. If I move, this thing charges me and runs me over. It's like a melee overwatch kind of thing. Kill the Grenadier relatively easy. This is just a cultist. So then the other problem, I don't really... My Calyx's assassin is fine. Stand this guy is more concerning, but I can fully heal him. We can immobilize all the enemies as well. Huh. Plagued. Yeah, fuck it, we're gonna farm the XP. Kill that grenadier, please. Reloading causes it as well. What? Should they not? I am the fake Yes. The plan is going to be to charge in this direction for the mobility. And then I can do this. Storm. 
This guy's got a bolt gun. What have you got? Same shit. I mean, they're irrelevant once they've only got their little knife. Uh, getting a little bit concerned about the HP on that guy, though. But, let's just use this. We're not going to have a better time to use it. Does that stop them? Oh my god, it does. Beautiful. I mean, it's intuitive. I just didn't know if that was 100% going to affect that. So, now they're all immobilized. Where do we want to go? What do we want to do? The Vindicate here really does not feel very good. He doesn't feel safe. He just does not feel like he's in a fun situation. But this guy can't move, so... Oh, I just killed this guy, don't I? I can just triple shot this guy. Oh, I also need to kill this the guy. So shoot you once and then I can shoot him twice with the indicator. And because of the immobilization we're safe. Unfortunately, the Collectus has 11 shields. And she's immune to all the spike bullshit. Dude, that's so good. Collectus Assassin is amazing. Bloody hell, she is so good. Do I have any more servo skulls? I need it for this interceptor. I want to actually clear out all the enemies. There should be one more reinforcements, I believe, as well. Yep, great. Yep, there's the final reinforcement. So... This is amazing that he can just keep using this. For HP. Wait, how did... How did this guy just heal? Wasn't he way low than this? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, he, he didn't take all that damage to go down to 16 HP because we immobilized the enemy instead. Commander. And she's immune to Overwatch as well. The AI just doesn't get this, which is beautiful. this. Yes. Hang on. Where are the server skulls? Oh, the interceptor's got it himself. Yeah, that's fine then. Crack on, son! I think we just end it here. On the hunt. What next? Praise the Emperor. A 
Yeah, let's end this. Oh my god, the damage she does is fucking mental. I'm sorry, but it's mad, guys. What the hell is this shit? She's insane. Do y'all not think? Absolutely bonkers. How much damage she does. Bloody hell. Like she just deletes this guy. Goodbye. And then the whole bonus of lowering that as well, which I'm not even accounting for. And then she gets back even more. What on earth? Vindica at your disposal. Oh nice! We got the seed. That was lucky. Another foul seed claim. Listening. <laughs> A well deserved death. Gorgeous. Must reload. Standing ready. This guy's got twelve health. How much damage do I do? I do six, don't I? I do six damage. Give me your XP. Well, you know what? We handled that spread emission very well. And I must admit, having a Flex Assassin was a large part of that. The extra damage against demons from that gear on her is an absolute game changer. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, they ought to be cowering before you. You're insane. She's so good. Jeez. Well, that's the spreader mission handled. And that's Dolores Seeds too, so now we can crack on with getting the Codex Toxicus made and hunting down those Reapers. Beautiful Servitors as well. No, we don't want any of this. She doesn't even get wounded because her shields are just so insane. Intercept level up. Yeah, we want to start going over here, get the chance to regain AP every time we teleport. That's always a good one. Very nice. Okay, now we probably want to start advancing down to get the Adeptus Mechanicus missions going. Um... Yeah, a new set of bloom spawn things will likely proc very soon. Which is the closest? Oh, it's hard to say because they don't go away. I see. Hold on. Is there any difference between these missions? I don't think so. Well, just that I don't have a prognosticar over here, so that would make it a bit more difficult. We do have a prognosticar down here, so we might as well go down and do this one, I think. Yeah, let's head on route to that. Our ship's in a pretty shit state right now. That thing needs to hurry up and improve itself. We need to get improved guns. There's just so much to upgrade on the ship. Oh, they're already here. Where are all the missions? They're all on the other side of the map. Technophage outbreak down there. Hmm. 
Man, I can't even get to these in time. Technically, if I rushed, I could get to this one. I think I'm just going to ignore it. Oh, wow, that's not good, though. What's that? Spreading the bloom. Yeah, it's literally unreachable. It's only going to spread it to these areas, so it's not too big of a deal. Yeah, we can grab this. I really want to avoid that warp storm, though I can't really go there when I've got gun battery level zero. I mean, I do have full hull integrity, but still. Uh, just forget it. Just go deal with this excavation mission. So we can get the Codex Toxicus now. We'll get that started. Eight days. That's fast, man. Now we've got improved ship speed. Thank God we clearly need that quite badly. And our gun batteries are deactivated. What a joke. What a joke. I'm going to get this extra XP and I want to get prognosticars too. So many things to be getting. Increased research speed would not be a terrible idea. That's way too many servitors. We can't afford that though. It's too many. Let's get... Let's get another Prognostica. Yeah, so in order to cleanse the machine spirits, we're going to need Lunette to come with us to sort out these atmospheric purifiers. Do not lose free atmospheric purifiers. Get Architect, Corruption Falls. Now, the actual enemies that are here don't seem that scary, to be honest. Blight Haulers, Bloat Drones, and Plague Riddens. Um... Actually, oh, we've not actually encountered fetid bloat drones yet. Well, whatever. Oh, the net's fucking wounded. Oh. Ooh, no, 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 we're not doing that with Wounded Lunette, that's a terrible idea. Fuck's sake. We'll have to wait for that to pass. How long is that going to be? That's 18 days! Oh my god. Oh, that's awful. Oh, that's terrible. Oh my god. That's so bad. The Codex Toxicus, I think, has just finished researching. What is this abomination? Our salvation. The edict shudders with anxiety. This work profanes the machine god. Mars will forgive us. The fate of the entire galaxy hinges on the psychic insight of the Codex. With it, we can track the Prime Seeds and hunt each Reaper down. How do we proceed? I will require a number of seeds from a single strain of the Bloom. With those in hand, I can attune the Codex to the strange psychic stench, tracking its most potent source amongst the stars. Query, 
Do the prime seeds within these reapers emanate above all others? Precisely. The Codex will hone in on this power within the Reaper. From there, we will hunt them down one by one. Why do I get the feeling you are enjoying this? If I am right, and I always am, each strain will wither without its Reaper to tend it, and we score another victory for humanity. This is no game to take pleasure in, Vagia. That's Inquisitor to you. We share in this sacred duty, Purifier. Would you deny me the brief satisfaction of a job well done? Noted, Inquisitor. But this job is not finished yet. Alright. Let's hunt them Reapers, boy. Got a lot of requisitions here. This is beautiful. So this requires quite a lot of seeds. So let's attune the codex to Poxus to find its reaper. Can I help you, Commander? We will agitate the trapped Xeno souls within. The Codex Toxicus has Wraithbone from Usaria's infinity circuit at its core. We'll agitate the trapped Xenos souls within. What? It is their pain, seeped in Nurgle's corruption, that shall guide us to the very prime seeds the craft world helped germinate. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> yeah, Ektar was right, you skirt it's heresy. It's the Xenos souls that suffer, not the subjects of the Emperor. Well, that's nice. Yes, let us not waste our time. And where precisely would you prefer I reside? My own ship? Steel and bolt alone can only delay the arch enemy's advance. Jeez. You should broaden your horizons, Commander. Just getting a bit pissy now. Yes, let us not waste our I must return. All right, all right, Vakir. No, we get it, we get it, we get it. Against us. The edicts, machine spirits, us. There are many of the priesthood who would see it destroyed. We must simultaneously better ourselves with quest for knowledge while holding fast to the Omnissiah's creed. All yep, Adeptus Mechanicus can never agree on anything. We know that. Yes, Commander. Let us commune to. I despise it. We fight the Preternatural and must be armed as such. I don't know what Tesseract Labyrinths are. Um. Hmm. They succumb too easily to corruption. Well, yeah, Ektar not very impressed with the basic humans, unlike the incorruptible Grey Knights. I'm not sure how incorruptible they are, but anyway, there you go. The Knights look to me for guidance. The edict is, of course, now we're just talking about his role as a purifier. There is certainly room. I end okay, let's um think about what the hell we're doing. Oh, I can't believe she's got wounded. It's only 13 more days. We might just wait it out while we're literally stood here. But this Bloom Spawn mission is going to disappear soon. If more appear, then we might just do them. Oh, hopefully she only becomes lightly wounded. If she's lightly wounded, I think we can do it. We've got a serious lack of servitors right now. Right, fine. Let's get the the gun batteries up and running again. We need the improved. Uh, we need the prognostic cars spawning again. Let's just advance for a second. Oh, we've got the Grandmaster report coming up. Right, hold on. Okay, let's see what this report's going to say. We've got so much requisition, it's great. 
Yeah, we don't got any servitors, unfortunately, for that. Wait, what happened? Oh, here it is. Jesus, I thought it skipped itself. I will be brief. Your strategy to combat these reapers is one I can get behind. Wow, brilliant. Provide additional ordnance and trust. You will make good use of it. There is, however, one point I must address. Inquisitor Vakir. The detail in your reports has become jarringly opaque. I have had to rely on Brother Ektar's commentary simply to pass your current progress. This leaves me with the peculiar notion that you are trying to test me in some way. I encourage you to correct this by your next report. Well, that was brief. Testing him indeed. Should I write for an audience of simpletons? I found much to agree with in the Grand Master's claims. Oh, truly? I hadn't taken you for a scholar. Tell me, <laughs> where in my report did you feel it necessary to edit behind my back? As senior brother, it is my duty to act in the Citadel's requests. If you were not so blatantly preoccupied with safeguarding your reputation, oh dear. I would not have asked <laughs> to intervene. You assume much. Purifier, this plague's vectors of attack are numerous, and our understanding of its nature yet limited. I am trying, on my own, and with the crudest of tools, to unravel what chaos has been brooding on for centuries. I do not have the time to wait. I... I meant no disrespect, Commander. Indeed. Just remember, this operation remains under my jurisdiction. And that this authority is at the discretion of the Grand Master. Alignment. Clearly established chain of command yields greatest efficiency. The commander's success in battlefield operations remains our primary concern. Thank you, Lunette. Okay, we can finally get rank to Officio Assassinorum upgrades. Now, we might want to leave a little bit more requisition behind to purchase those, but uh, maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, mm, 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 mm. I kind of feel like these are not needed right now. I still have a good chance of getting those tier 3 weapons. I'd rather increase these. Yeah, okay, we'll take them all to four, and I'll leave two requisition to purchase some assassin upgrades if I want them. We've got level two gun batteries. Four out of four integrity. I think we can take on this Death Guard cruiser pretty easily. Oh, whatever, it's only five days till Lunette's no longer wounded, so fuck it. We'll just wait. Oh, that's convenient. Literally spawned right in front of me. Uh, is it a servitor, though? We need servitors. No, it's requisition. Does give us access to a chaplain. Unfortunately, he's only level two. Which isn't great. Plague Surgeon, Plague Champion. Okay, there's some servitors over there, but they're a mile away. What about the other missions? Okay, this is a spreader. We should probably do that with some urgency. Oh my god, yeah, wow. It is going to cause all kinds of corruption. And then there's a spreader over here as well, but that I, I can't even travel to that if I wanted to. That's Grimoires. This is another requisition. Eh. Oh well. We're gonna have to do this. Oh, this is a Technophage mission, so we get the Dreadnought as well. Alright, cool. Yeah, that's great then. We'll get a shitload of XP. For doing this. Level 7 per Gator. Damn. We can recruit some really high-ranked knights now, can't we? My guys are nowhere near that. Like, I've still got a level 4 tech marine, for fuck's sake. Well then. 
All right, let's just have a look at the assassin gear that we got. Well, let's advance uh, to Lunette being healed. Hopefully that's not causing too much trouble in terms of traveling in time. And we've also just located the first Reaper. It's done. I've attuned the Codex Toxicus to the strain. I can feel the Reaper's vile presence within. For any other citizen of the Imperium, this act would bring a death sentence. Yet you- Yet I what? Skirt heresy? Do you think I enjoy the strain this task requires? This is my duty, Purifier. When this Reaper manifests, I trust you will do yours. Your knights must be ready, Commander. The time has come. I believe this is a great unclean one that we have to kill. Yeah. Aegir the Benevolent. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. What a weird name. So there he is. The Reaper of the Poxus Strain. A greater demon embodying corruption and disease. He's known to consort with a small army of Nurgling nephews. Alright. Five requisition though from doing it. Jesus, that's a lot. Very nice. Okay. Anyway, yeah, we got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Brilliant. Oh, no, I don't want to be traveling. What am I doing? Not yet. So now Lunette is no longer wounded, we can take her along and complete this Adeptus Mechanicus mission over here. And then after we can do this one, get a requisition. And then after, hopefully, not get interrupted by this warp storm and, you know finish that off if we encounter this death guard fleet i think we should be chilling because we've got level two guns and four out of four hull because of our shields so yeah i think i think we should be pretty good everyone's basically healed now because we've spent so long for friggin idling but it is causing corruption to spread most of these peripheral ones though that you can see they're not really very corrupted um just a few on the edges over here not too bad though So more research to be done. Let's go down this route and try and get the extra stratagem slot. You can see these are taking quite some time now. We do have a debuff to our research rate for a bit. Ship status. Yeah, we just can't do anything. We don't have any servitors. Boo-hoo. Sad times. We can't claim any either. These are all requisitions. Very sad. So the one thing I wanted to check here is, I just want to have a look at my assassins and the kit they can get. Well, actually... Uh, let's have a look. Collect this assassin. Oh, bloody hell, the tier 2 gear costs free requisition. Ooh. That's interesting. Okay. I was going to say it's shorter range. But you can actually make it do plus three to demons. And earn six basic damage instead of four. Oh my god, dude. What? That'd be insane. That'd be nine damage. When upgraded to demons. With the basic attack. Holy shit, that would be insane. How can anything compete with that? What does this do? When an enemy uses a psychic ability, this unit has a 50% chance to gain plus one WP. And then that can happen twice per turn and then you can get more focus. <sighs> That's okay. I honestly don't think it's that hard to farm the WP. I mean, you just have to make sure if you bring in a Collexus, you bring an Interceptor, right?
So you could upgrade this, and then it has a 50% chance to um, inflict blinded on the opponent, reducing their ranged attack damage. That's kind of cool, given the longer range on it. And all of these do 5 damage basic as well. But I'm sorry, these secondary effects compared to just doing 6 basic damage and plus 3 damage against demons, even with a reduced range, that's just nuts. 9 damage with your basic attack that can ignore line of sight against demons is bonkers, if you ask me. Now, this already gives her plus 2 willpower and plus 10 focus, which I think is pretty sweet. So what do these do? Plus 6 HP, 20% resistance, immunity to plague. Okay, but... Yeah, I don't know. The main use of this immunity to plague effect, I'd say, is for those new hive germ missions. But that's a psychic attack and she just dodges it anyway, so who gives a shit? So I'm not really feeling that one. 6 max HP is pretty nice, but like... I'd rather plus 2 max willpower because that's 2 shields, basically. Here we go, here's the other willpower one, so... Right now, I get plus 10% focus. With this one instead, I can get... When a warp surge occurs, this unit has a 100% chance to gain 1 WP, and then that becomes 2. Oh, that's so good. And plus 3 willpower as well. Instead of plus 2. Plus 4 health instead of plus 2. Yeah, that's... That's, that's amazing as well. And then this is Psychic Dampening Auto reduces Warp Surge by an additional 10% and I get more focus and it gives you the most HP. It gives you plus 7 HP, that's shit. This is quite clearly the best. Yeah, this is clearly the best. There's no question about it. I mean, that that's very strong. That weapon's also nuts. Eversaur. What about the Eversaur? So right now I get resistance and HP. Okay. Oh, and immunity to weakened and disable melee. More resistances. More move speed. Ooh, more move speed on him's kind of insane when he's already 6 move speed. Plus 5 HP. 50% resistance, another move speed, and 5 HP. That's some good armor. That's some good passive buffs right there. This unit has an extra passive equipment slot. Well, that might be nice if I actually had more friggin' passive equipment in the first place, but I have barely any of them unlocked, so it's not really that big of a deal. That's good. This improves your, your healing when you kill someone in melee by 50%. This probably would be the choice if I had some decent passive equipment. But since I have basically none, it's not that powerful. And then you've got the unit's grenades have plus one ammo, can be plus two ammo. The grenades do plus two damage, plus two grenade ammo, plus two damage. Eh, I don't know how good that is really. I don't think that's that good. I guess it's cool to give grenades to your guy with bonus movement speed because he can always get into a good position to use them. But I feel like the Aversa Assassin should always be meleeing. I don't really feel like it's his job to be throwing grenades. That seems like a waste of his AP. I don't... No, I don't, I don't like that. So it'd be between these two for sure. Okay, these are all only two requisitions, I'm realising. The Collexus ones are more expensive, presumably because she only has two pieces of the Wargate that she can get, versus the three that these guys can get. These guys being the Vindicar and the Aversa. So they all retain the Neurotoxin. This one does more damage, more range. Very straightforward. Can actually be six damage in total, which is pretty crazy. 
When this unit crits the target with a ranged attack, it has a 50% chance to gain plus 1 AP. Can be upgraded to be 75% chance with 35% increased crit chance. Alright. And you can buff your bleed here. Hmm. Extra crit chance. I don't really care for that. More basic damage is very good. But I also love the fact that this gives me more XP and more... And 100% parry chance. What's this? When this unit executes target, it gains plus 1 AP. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. Nah. This is the way to go, I think. Just get six basic damage with your sword. Target suffers two. Yeah, that's all the same, isn't it? And then 15% extra crit chance. Yeah. Versus just absolute bleed maximization. Yeah, I think you just go for this and you just make his damage really high. Vindica. Oh, this is cool. This rifle gets f uh, four ammo as opposed to the two that you had by default. And it's still 17 range. That's very nice. You get support fire, but honestly that support fire is kind of awkward. You can actually make it range 20, which is kind of nuts. These all cost free as well, what the fuck? So you get range 20 with support fire and 4 ammo. Otherwise you can go for this, which deals bonus damage to organic targets. Okay. I like that. Because that's that's the main goal of this whole weapon. You, you're stuck with 2 ammo though. But you gain... Oh, in total it could be plus 3 damage, so you'd end up doing 7 damage per shot to organic targets, which is pretty sexy. And a 40% bonus crit chance, which is good, because the Vindicare in general has higher than average crit chance in the first place. So it'd be like 50% crit chance. And his crits, his ranged crits actually dismember people. So yeah, that's, I mean... It is what it is, it's just a hard counter to organic dudes. And then this is just a flat damage increase. Well, actually, you upgrade it and you do 6 damage. But again, you're stuck with 2 ammo and you have nerfed range. So this is 17, this can be buffed to 20 and this is only 14. So that is quite a significant reduction. But again, pretty good crit here. So this is damage. Specking into damage and crit chance, but you've got really shit range. This gives you massive ammo capacity and longer ranged. Um, as well as the support fire, but like I said, I don't know about the support fire, man. When it's going to use his ammo. I feel like you'd, you'd want his ammo for, for, for actually his turns. And the damage output of this version, the long range version and the high ammo is really low, you know, 4 damage versus potentially, well, always doing 6 damage with this, and this is 4 damage, or 7 against organics. I mean, that's that's a huge difference in damage, you know? That's a tricky one. I feel like maybe just go for the, the anti-organics one. 
Oh, he's only got two options here for pistols. That's weird, isn't it? Eh? What's going on there? You've got the equity, which is four damage pistol. With crit chance and crit damage. Okay, simple. And you've got frost fire, which is longer range. It's got a 25% chance to inflict immobilize. And it can buff your focus. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. I like extra focus on the Vindicare a lot. A lot. I think I like this. Extra focus is great because he's got so many autos, it's insane. You know, he's got the the percentage roll to reload when he runs out of his main gun. Every time he kills someone with a pistol, he's got a percentage chance to gain another AP. And then he's got a percentage chance every time he moves. So 10% focus means all these percentage chances go up by 10%. You yeah, add in weapon range and then this little uh, immobilization. But that 25% immobilization is then buffed by my focus as well. So that automatically, as soon as I get this upgrade, becomes 35% chance. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little combo going on there. I like that. I might buy that right now. And then these stealth suits... What they're doing. This unit's reposition auto has a 100% chance to trigger. Oh, brilliant. 15% focus can be upgraded to 30% focus. Wow. Okay, then. Hmm. Okay. 10% focus. Plus free server skull ammunition. Holy shit, man. That's amazing as well. Guys, these assassins are just bonkers. They're bonkers. You fully kick these guys out. They're going to be absolutely nuts. That's all it does though, right? Yeah. More focus and literally plus free server skulls. I mean, that's great for one piece of war gear. And plus three HP as well. Which, to be honest, he kind of needs. Because he is so squishy for how late we are in the game at this point. If you don't have stealth, you're in trouble. This one gives you an extra grenade. 30% resistance. Plus five max HP. I think I'd take this one. Again, you're stacking the focus. Plus three servo skulls is no joke. And it still gives you a little bit of HP. Nowhere near as much as this, which is plus five. Well, I mean, it is near it, isn't it? Plus three. I'm going to buy this pistol anyway, guys. I'm going to buy Frostfire. Bang. And we can upgrade it because we've got plenty of Poxus. Beautiful. Now we've got longer range in our pistol with the Vindicare. We've got a chance to immobilize enemies that we shoot. And all of our percentage rolls are now even better. Which I love. Oh my god, look at that. It's a 50% chance to immobilize because of all of our focus. And later on, if we get a load of requisitions and we buy this armor, then we upgrade it, we get 20% more focus. So it's going to be 70% chance to immobilize with my pistol. <laughs> They're so good, these assassins. They're amazing. I want the sniper rifle that does 7 damage to organics as well. That sounds pretty fun if you ask me. Right, well, we're going to do this mission in the next episode. We're going to have a, a slew of missions. We'll do this one, and then I'll probably skip this one because it should be quite easy. Yeah, it's just a seed carrier mission. It's not a technophage. It will be trivial. I'll fast forward that one. And then we're going to hopefully not get thrown off course by this thing here and make it to this spreader, which should be nice and fun. A tier 2 spreader mission, but it is a technophage, and the Tainted Sons are here. But we get to bring a Dreadnought along. And we've not used the Dreadnought since we upgraded it to have a heavy side cannon and a force glaive. So it should be spicy. We'll see how it goes. Thank you for tuning in, folks. That's all for you, Boy Torpid. This time, signing out.